You don't know what it's like. See, your best friend is torn to pieces by a vehicle right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Catherine Couric, News 4, Falls Church. Gill was released late this afternoon. He could have been charged with manslaughter, but we are told there was no indication he was driving recklessly or at excessive speed, and they say alcohol was apparently not a factor. If convicted on the current charge, Gill could face up to five years in jail and a $5,000 fine. Authorities say at this point it appears the victims were standing on the road. What might have been just a fender... Badly hurt, another escaped injury because he had just walked to the other side of the car. Police say excessive speed was not a factor, but they're still investigating whether drugs or alcohol were possibly involved. Virginia, a McLean, Virginia man is facing a felony charge tonight. He's accused in a hit and run accident that left three young men dead and a fourth critically injured. Catherine Couric has the story. Last night at this time, there was a horrifying sight on Westmoreland Street. It all began when five young men in a Chevy Nova stopped to change a flat tire. I went around to the driver's side, I mean to the passenger's side, to pull out a, fa a flashlight. When I looked up, all I heard was this noise. I looked up, all my brother and my three friends were gone. And then I looked to my right, and I see my brother mangled on the street. And I just look in the distance and I see a van accelerating at rapid speed, getting away. I started screaming and chasing after the van. And as I kept running, I kept finding different friends <laughs> mangled along the highway. 20-year-old Larry Ruscio, Rob Sturzel, also 20, and 23-year-old Stephen Souther were killed. 17-year-old Sean Lawrence was rushed to Fairfax Hospital in critical condition. The driver of the van turned himself into police this morning. He is 47-year-old Kyung Sung Gil, who was released late this afternoon on $100,000 bond. Gil has been charged with felony hit and run. He was not charged with manslaughter because police say there was no evidence of recklessness, excessive speed, or alcohol. Authorities say it appeared the victims were standing in the road. Maybe he was panicked. I don't know what happened, but that is not a part of him. What kind of man is he? He's a very responsible person. Doctors finished operating on Sean Lawrence around 8 o'clock tonight, nearly 18 hours after they began early this morning. They were working on saving his legs, which were badly injured in the accident. For now, they believe they will not have to amputate. You don't know what it's like to see your best friends torn to pieces by a vehicle right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Catherine Couric, News 4, Falls Church. Gill will be arraigned on Monday. If convicted, he could face up to five years in prison and a fine of up to $5,000. Friendship, he is a very good, uh, responsible person. Gill will be arraigned after the accident and provided he had not been using either drugs or alcohol, Gill probably would not have been charged at all. Elsewhere tonight, that accident has left four families grieving. Phyllis Armstrong has that story. All my friends were gone. I was there alone. So I looked to my right. First thing I seen was my brother's body laying with his face this way. The sorrow of the Souther family and friends was painfully evident as they stood on a Falls Church street this afternoon. John Souther had come to comfort one son while mourning the loss of another, 23-year-old Stephen Souther. The younger Souther says the driver accused of felony hit and run in the deaths of three people and the serious injury of another never slowed down after the accident. <laughs> I feel like I've been robbed. <laughs> Someone just stuck it. <laughs> took 20 year old people and ripped their lives apart just left them torn to shreds on the street to die Souther's 20 year old friend who survived the hit effects hospital at 2.30 this morning Sean Lawrence of Herndon suffered multiple fractures of both legs and doctors operated more than 12 hours in an effort to save his right leg Emergency medical crews could do nothing for 20-year-old Lawrence Ruscio, him and the other victims, 20 to 75 feet down Westmoreland Street. His father says the talented guitar player was a popular leader who looked out for his friends. Uh, whenever they went to any parties and somebody got a little out of hand, 
and as many teenagers do they will slip a few beers or whatever he'd always steal his friends keys so they won't drive while drunk or under the influence uh, he was always a leader among all his friends the Southers say it will take more than a conviction and stiff sentence for the driver to help Douglas forget. Ironically, the third young man killed, 20-year-old Robert Stretzel, played bass in a band with Souther, a rock group named Deceased. Phyllis Armstrong, Eyewitness News, Nightcast. A DC the men were changing a flat in the 1500 block of Westmoreland Avenue in McLean around 10 o'clock Thursday night. The three friends died at the scene. One other escaped unharmed. Tonight, the van's driver, 47-year-old Kyung Song Kiel, faces felony hit-and-run charges. He's free on a $100,000 bond. Well, leg of a of Thursday night's hit-and-run accident in McLean. 17-year-old Sean Lawrence under Sean Lawrence underwent some 18 hours of surgery at Fairfax Hospital, and officials there say so far it looks good. Uh, three were changing a flat tire Thursday night. The suspect, 47-year-old Kyung Song Keel of McLean, turned himself into police on dollars bond, charged with felony hit and run. Police officers across the country.